Say, Lord, this week I hear good news from you. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of testimonies. I hear the sound of dominion. As you have professed, as you have heard, so shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hello, my brother and my sister. You are welcome to the altar of victory this week. Thank you for joining us on this platform throughout last week to pray every single day. We pray that these prayers are investments into our lives, into our families, into our businesses and ministries. And we know that we shall begin to see the reward and the returns of these prayers in all areas of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our prayer focus on the altar of victory this week is that you will hear from God. And for God to communicate that to us, he said we should look into the book of Jonah and pray with the life of Jonah. Jonah was a man that heard from God from the very first verse of his first chapter. In Jonah chapter 1, the Bible says, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai. The word of the Lord is coming to you this day, this week, in the name of Jesus. Your inner ears will be opened. Your inner understanding will be opened. Your eyes of understanding will receive light in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 107 verse 20, it says he sent his word, his word heals them and delivers them from their destruction. The book of Jonah tells us about the sovereignty of our God over all human beings, over the creation of his hands, over all living things. It shows us the sovereignty of God over the natural forces, over the wind, over the sun, over the stars, over everything he created. And I pray for you in the name that is above every other name, everything that God created from the first to the sixth day will begin to work in your favor. Human beings around you, relationships in your life, they will begin to work in your favor. Every force of nature, the sun, the rain, the stars, the moon, everything in the atmosphere will begin to work to attract God's blessings into your life in the name of Jesus. And every animal, every living thing, every creature that God created will become agents of bringing God's blessings into your life, into your family. That in every circumstance of your life, in every situation of your life, you will see the hand of God using everything he created to work for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will go contrary to God's purpose in your life. Nothing will work against God's interest in your life. Things will fall in pleasant places for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And that book also shows us the greatness of the mercy and the love of God to you as a child of God and even to your enemies. So I pray for you that the mercy and the love of God will not be far from you. The mercy and the love of God will work in your favor, will work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And beloved, from that understanding of what the book of Jonah teaches us is the fact that when God rules and reigns in the affairs of your life, no force of darkness, no force of this world can oppress you, can hold you down, can defeat you. So I pray for you in the name that is above every other name, God will reign and rule in your life. The sovereignty of God will find expression in your life. The Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 it says he has been given a name that is above every other name that at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. The name of Jesus will reign in your life, will reign in your family, will reign in your business, will rule in every area of your life and as God reigns in your life no force of darkness, no force of this world will be able to overcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Say Father I receive victory to reign and to rule as your word comes forth to me today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And having prayed these prayers, the fact that our God is so rich in mercy and love also teaches us the fact that he wants us to show mercy and love to people around us. So I want to pray for you. The Bible says, blessed are those who show mercy for they shall receive mercy. As you forgive, as you let go, God will step into that situation to turn it around in your favor. Were you cheated? Were you backstabbed? The mercy of God can freely flow from you by grace so that God will fight that battle for you, so that God will bring you out victoriously from that 
tough and difficult situation. Receive the grace to forgive. Receive the heart, the compassion to let go so that God will step into your situation. This week you will hear from God the word of hope, the word of peace, the word of life, the word of victory in all areas of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you and thank you for joining us today on the altar of victory. Please remember you can share your testimonies of what God is doing in your life on this platform on altarofvictory247 at gmail.com and also send your prayer request there and let's pray together because we believe that our God is the prayer answering God and he will answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Please remember as you watch this video, do well to like it so that others can get to watch and pray with us and share with friends and family. Subscribe to this channel if you are here to do so and click the notification bell to get the videos when we drop them here between Monday and Friday. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.